go. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Vegas Dolls here. How are you guys doing on this fabulous afternoon Monday? I'm doing all right. Could be better, but I'm doing all right. I have some things. You're probably wondering why I got my beanie on is because the heater, I'm having heater issues. I got to get some filters and uh, the heater in this one. This house was built in 2012, you would think that we would not be having heater. I know when I first started uh, uh, my YouTube channel about a month ago, there was some issues with the heating and air conditioner. Anyways, the guy has to come back out. I have to change some filters. Uh, I did not know that I was supposed to be changing. There's like six filters in this house for two stories, but uh, I forgot to change like three of them on the upstairs. But anyways, uh, that is to be fixed. That's what I'm doing, dealing with today is some uh, coldness in your house. But you know what? You can never have enough coldness in your life. But anyways, other than that, um, my week, the beginning of the week, yeah, it's Monday. So uh, yesterday, like I told you guys, uh, sorry I didn't upload. I was out of town. I had actually went on a trip with my mom to... A ghost town here in Nevada, and I will be explaining more about that fun filled trip this week and where we went to. Uh, anyways, um, I, the the I'm not sure if you guys watch them. I watch them. I used to watch them all the time. I don't watch them that much anymore. Um, but it's really cool. They're a paranormal group here in Las Vegas, and it's called Ghost Adventures with Zach Regan and uh, Nick was on the show, but he left. But they went to this location, it was really cool. Me and my mom went there for a night, and um, they weren't there when we went, but we stayed at the hotel they investigated, and it was awesome. Uh, it's about three hours, uh, three hours away from here in Vegas. But uh, anyways, that is for another video, another time. Let's get on with today's show, Monday show. I actually, when I was out and about getting my filters before the guy comes, I pass by and I never, well I do sometimes, but um, I never shop at thrift stores um, because they never have my size of clothes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, no I did, when I first got this house I did buy some uh, pictures at Salvation Army. I don't, I don't, I don't discriminate. Uh, and I bought a bunch of really lovely plants that, uh, they're fake plants, but they're really big and stuff, and they're really cool. They go in the corners and stuff like that, but I bought a bunch of those. But I decided, since how I was uh, at Walmart, and Walmart is right by, uh, a Goodwill was next door to the Walmart that I went to today. It's not a normal Walmart that I got to, but it was, I was in the area and uh, had to grab some things in that area, filters for the, uh, air conditioning heating system in the house and I thought what better way was going to Goodwill and I know one of my other favorite YouTubers out there likes to do the same thing and he always gets bargains so anyways I happened to go in there today and I mean I got really uh, two good bargains um and it was really exciting but they are used and stuff for you you can clean them up and stuff. Uh, I'll have to ask him again. Or, 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 not ask him again, but I'll have to ask him how you clean up dolls. Or I'll look it up anyways. But anyway, so the first doll that I got was the Sweet Roses Barbie doll. She's kind of like, uh, I don't know. She's really cool. Uh, she's from 1989. 60 something. Uh, no, she, yes, she's from 1989. This one's from 1989. Uh, she's a sweet roses Barbie. There might, there probably was a 1961. Why do you keep saying 1960? It mm -hmm. says on the box 1989. My by Mattel. Oh. Um. Anyways, that was the first one that I got. Uh, she has used. Um, I took her out of the box. Uh, I will take her out of the box for the show. Um, she's not that bad. I just gotta do some work on her hair, uh, and get this girl a, a, a little, um, a stand, and she'll be good to go. That was the first one that I got, and then I saw this 1990, and I love the earlier holiday Barbies, and I saw this 1992 Mattel holiday Barbie. I, I'm not a big fan of the, the, um, hair per se but I can do something with it but 
But anyways, yeah, that's the 1992 uh, holiday Barbie that I got. This was of uh, $7.50, uh, $7 and I believe this one was $5. So anyways, let me get these girls out. Apparently, they've already been opened, so how do you reopen and get them back out? Oh, this is how I did it in the store. Okay, yeah. Okay, so anyways, he comes with a little bag here. Uh, with the brush. Comes with the brush. A pink brush, and she comes with two pink high heel pumps. That is really cool. Anyways, she's a sweet roses Barbie. A, bo a bouquet of beautiful looks. Perfect sweet roses furniture. The furniture, I guess, is sold separate. I'm assuming, yes. It says, Contents doll bodysuit with rosettes, long slim skirt, short full skirt, apron, bed jacket, earrings, ring, shoes, and hairbrush. Okay, so I got the hairbrush and the shoes. Let's see if the rest of it is in here. I don't think it all was, but I think it was. I don't know. Anyway, oh, yes, it is. There's the apron. And then, okay, there's the, if, yeah, it's all clear. It's just her hair is, like, needs a lot of work. They got it up in a little, band, a little uh, uh, rubber band up there. But I love it. Look at the pink uh, dress. And apparently, uh, this pink, this outfit can come off. She, uh, she, the gown changes for every room. So she's got an apron for the kitchen, um, and then you can take this gown off and this part for bedtime, and then she's got the normal the gown look for going out. That's what it shows on the box. Let's see here. Her articulation is really good here. I love these roses and the pearl necklace she's got, but I don't know how to. Okay, let, there you go. You un, you unsnip it. So this this tutu then comes off, and then now she's in her gown, like her. Um, I guess this would be like a formal gown. There she would go out, and she's got a nice little diamond ring right there. I like that, and she's got diamond earrings in her ear. And then a pearl necklace, which I already said. And then her hair is kind of tied up. It's in a rubber band up here. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Get that out of her hair. Oh, they have it wrapped up. Okay, so let me do this. Because I think I can make it look all right without the rubber band. So how was your guys' this weekend? Mine was fabulous. Okay, so that's not working. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. People do this off camera. I like to do it on camera because I like to get the feel for, like, you know. I don't know. The rubber band's kind of stuck in there. I'm going to have to work with it. It's really old. There we go. I got it. Without minimal hair loss. Just a little bit of hair. See, yeah, because I want to get this hair. I really love this Barbie, and I want to make her hair really... Then you can tell that's been in there for probably decades and all that. But, with uh, you know, if you do some work on her hair, it looks really good. But I like these old, the older Barbies from the 90s because they put more, like, they're more rubbery and they're not as plastic as the like the newer Barbies, the older Barbies from the nineties. Um, they're just yeah, like this is rubber. You know, her legs are rubber. Her legs do come out. She can sit like this. Um so she can sit down and her legs move out and out. Her arms uh don't Oh, they do. Yes, her arms come out. Like, she could move her arms outwards, in, and then up, and then backwards. So, she's very, her arms are very poseable. And like I said, I like this pink dress. 
It's got like satin layer over. It's white with the pink satin layer. And then she's got two white uh, roses with uh, pink in the middle of them. And then uh, again, she comes with the the uh, white apron. That uh, yeah, the white apron that needs to be cleaned. And then this, and I'm assuming this can turn into instead of uh, yeah, I'm assuming it could turn into a really fancy dress. Yes, it can. So I thought it was really cool, and for five dollars, five dollar haul at um. Goodwill, you get that. So, yeah, and I don't do this all the time, so. But I thought, oh, and it does Velcro in the back. It Velcros, and um, and then you Velcro it back up. So that is the Barbie Sweet Roses from 1989. She's gorgeous, you guys. Gorgeous. So that is her. I really love that, 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 that. Ah, uh, where we at? And then here we go, the Barbie. Uh, uh, Happy Holidays. Uh, this is from 1992. Um, she looks really good. Uh, very, very good. Uh, let's see here. I'm not gonna get in a depth review with her, but I'll pull her out and show you. She does, this one comes with the doll stand. This one comes with the doll stand. And she also, these ones come with pictures. They come with a picture. That is really sweet, cool. Awesome. I like that. Okay, so anyways, the 1992 uh, Holiday Barbie Bride uh, is her dress. Look how far her dress can come out. She's got... <clears throat> tissue okay well hold on she comes with the barbie stand which is white uh she does she have shoes on she does not have shoes i wonder if they're in the back taped in the back um but anyway she's got this really this glitterly white uh satin kind of dress going on with gray a gray bottom and then it goes gray and then she's got all these little diamonds and she's got a diamond ring on she's got a like a diamond cut in her uh, diamond like a hairband that has cut diamonds on it and then she's got diamond earrings and she has pretty blue eyes white uh pink pink lips Blue eyes shadow and brown eyebrows, and she is gorgeous. And this one is, uh, I believe it's part of, is it part of the special edition? Yes, it's a special edition uh, holiday Barbie from 1992, and she comes with the collector doll stand. These are made by Mattel. My, my Mattel. <laughs> Anyways, so... That is my little uh, Goodwill haul. I can't say that I will do uh, any more. I just, I don't know. I just, you can find good stuff at Goodwill and stuff like that, but it's just, I don't know. You never know. I would have to know more about like the cleaning process and stuff like that. And I'm just really lazy when it comes to things like that. And don't get me wrong. It's to their own. People go to Goodwill and different thrift stores and they could find amazing deals and they know how to spoof them up. But I just, I don't have, I don't know how to do that to be doing that. Otherwise I would be doing that because you can save a lot of money doing it this way. And these are great quality Barbies. If you fix them up, great quality, top notch uh, from the early nineties. So anyways, that is my show for this Monday. Uh, sorry, I had to tell you about my drama, about my theater air conditioner problem in this. <clears throat> Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media, and I will follow you back. And don't forget to check out my social media, Facebook, because I will update uh, daily uh, about the auctions that I'll be having on my 
uh, uh, store and you can go check those out. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow, Tuesday. Talk to you later. Bye, you guys.